Assalamu alaikum guys what's up what's going on in this video I'll show you how to completely optimize the Valorant the first method is turn on gaming mode so simply click on the windows icon and then go into the settings now in the settings find the gaming option and click on it now turn off the xbox game bar because in the low end pc you cannot perform any xbox option or future as mentioned here a lot of futures but it's not working in the low end pc so simply turn this option off on the left side you will find the gaming option gaming mode just turn this option on let's move on the second option the second option is turn off background apps now there are a lot of apps are running on your background you need to turn those off just click on the windows icon go into the settings this time you need to find here the uh, privacy option and then go into it just turn off all these options and go into the diagnostic and feedback check here the optional diagnostic actually the optional diagnostic uh, and delete all the diagnostic data for better performance because your data will be sent uh, sent to Microsoft uh, official and they track you properly so you can just turn these options uh, off while gaming it will not work now in the background app by default all the applications are running so you need to turn it off that's it now let's move on the next step that is actually GPU safely overclocking now what is GPU safely overclocking I'll show you in this video you need to download the MSI Afterburner link is given below in the description just go ahead open it download it and uh, then launch the MSI Afterburner now here by default setting uh, it's not working right now for me because my RAM uh, capacity is completely completed I'll show you in the next method how to clean up but by default uh, you will get here the minimum value you need to boost it on the maximum performance and check it out now basically uh, it's safe when your GPU will be overclocked uh, overheated it will turn off automatically but uh, you can also increase the fan speed so it's safe don't worry about it now flash the RAM storage that <coughs> was the RAM storage uh, I was discussing in the recent uh, method simply you need to go uh, download the RAM map tool link is given below in the description just go ahead download it now go into the um, RAM map tool open it I'll show you how it's work and it's amazing tool uh, might be you don't know about this tool before but th this is the amazing tool now simply opening the task manager go into the performance setting and then open resource monitor now in the resource mon monitor you can see here my RAM is completely fulfilled now uh, fulfill uh, RAM means I cannot perform further uh, pro programs launching further programs or game on a pro proper uh, you know the performance so simply you need to clean all the RAM cache using RAM map tool as you can see on the right side just click on the empty sets and one by one just clean all the empty sets now you can see I have a lot of free RAM right now and I can perform a lot of tasks on my PC without lagging or shuttering so this is the way you can clean your RAM now let's move on the next method that is actually Nvidia FPS boost settings yeah exactly Nvidia boost settings uh, is a um, setup in your Nvidia settings simply open your Nvidia uh, control panel just right click on desktop and click on the Nvidia control panel once you open this setting you need to go into the adjust image settings with preview select here use my preference emphasis, emphasize and increase the maximum performance toward in, uh, the performance just increase the arrow on the performance side and hit apply you can also make smoothness in gameplay just clicking on the change resolution and use the native resolution that will provide you more fresh state 
means you are monitored now as you can see now my refresh rate increased on the 85 hertz so this is the method to increase smoothness in game now i'm not applying right now because i'm using 16 100x 1200 resolution and recording my screen so i cannot apply right now now let's move on the next method that is called turn off program services yeah exactly background program services um, comes with the software and with your operating system so simply click on the windows icon and type here ms config and then go into the services and now check the hide all, all microsoft services and just uh, uncheck the uh, unnecessary files and hit apply now make sure vgc is a gaming service if you turn this option off you will not uh, able to play the valorant so like these kind of applications uh, uh, services are important so don't turn off these kind of services otherwise the razor or nvidia intel google chrome and other services are available just turn those services off and hit ok now let's move on the next method that is ram window processing cache now the ram windows processing cache uh, stored in your operating system like in your hard disk as a uh, cache and it's actually increasing your ram storage fastly if you delete those files you will get a uh, better performance for a long time so simply click on the windows icon and then type run or just press windows plus r button to open the run command prompt and type here the temp just delete all these temp files now after deleting all the temp files close it and click again windows plus r now this time percentage temp percentage and delete all these files as you see here i'm recording right now and the storage is uh, and the cache is stored in here now again apply the same process but this time you need to type here the prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h and click on the continue just delete all these settings not settings actually it's sketchy so these this is the way now let's move on the next method called update drivers and windows speed with cc cleaner yeah exactly cc cleaner is a tool that will allow you to optimize your uh, operating system now simply uh, if you don't have the cc cleaner latest version then just contact me on my facebook account i'll provide the link in the description just contact me now first go into the update drivers and scan for your drivers now here i have only one driver uh, for update the audio driver simply you can scan again for all the drivers might be the next time you will get more drivers update so simply click on the scan again button it it is now checking for any out of date uh, date drivers after this process you will get here the uh, list of the drivers that need to update so you need to select all the drivers for update and then click on the update all now it's updating just go into the performance optimizer this is the awesome tool guys now uh, available in the cc cleaner 6 version uh, again i'm saying if you don't have just let me know on facebook i'll provide you the full version now here you can see these uh, softwares and tools are running on my background just uh, sleep uh, turn off these uh, tools on my background uh, just click on the sleep and those tools will not work on the background until you uh, click on the wake up option now easy clean just click here it will clear all your browser cache and uh, as long as the cookies the trackers that's come with uh, while browsing the website so just clean the cache for better performance of your operating system while booting fast and browsing fast so this is the way you can optimize your um, operating system actually it's work on windows 10 windows 11 you can just download it also you can clear here the unnecessary registry files unnecessary means the uh, uh, deleted programs uh, registry or some other related so just clear all these registry now let's move on the next method called windows visual performance yes exactly visual performance will boost up your operating system performance it will not improve the fps but uh, 
response time will definitely boost up now just right click on this pc and go into the properties then find here the advanced system settings on the left side just click on it advanced system settings now in the advanced go into the settings and adjust here for best performance now uh, after selecting you can just turn these option off show thumbnail instead of the icons and also the uh, show shadow under the mouse pointer and then hit apply for better view now go into the advanced settings if you are setting these uh, you know the uh, you need a performance for the games then select the program or if background services then you can go with the background services background services means there are a lot of server uh, tools that work on the background like antivirus like the voice changer the clownfish voice changer or some other related like the idm etc etc so you can go with the background services uh, otherwise select the program if you want to boost your performance for game now black screen issue comes after applying these settings so you can fix it easily simply uh, right click on the taskbar and then open the task manager now find here the uh, windows explorer and then right click on it and restart it that's it it's a simple process now the last setup is most important for valorant players if uh, you are looking for the valorant optimization video this is the best video ever for you simply go into the uh, this pc c drive and in the user settings now active user just open it and now in the uh, link bar you need to paste here the vertical backward slash and type app data you can also click on the view option on, on the above and then show hide files then go into the app data then local then find the valorant then again save configuration and now here you will get all the accounts uh, that you are using on the your client now in this section you need to select your account and open it i have a lot of accounts here but uh, you will get only one account just open that folder windows and open it the game user settings now this is the over optimization actually uh, just scroll down a bit and find here the scale ability group if it's not appearing then play one deathmatch or unrated then you will get these options here now resolution quality should be on 60 if you are using the low end pc and all the other settings should be on zero for perfect fps with these settings i'm getting 100 plus fps sometimes it's 144 and sometimes it's uh, above than 100 so you can just apply these settings and save now right click on the file and go into the properties check ready only read only so your game will not change the settings automatically until you uncheck this option i hope you like this video hit the subscribe button share it with friend if you have any question just drop your comment i'll respond to you as soon as possible till then just take yourself allah peace bye bye